this is how I plant tomatoes. Or anything, really. Anything and everything. I plant them in little sunken holes. And then I run a small trickle of water. Usually a little bit less than that, but my water pressure is such that it's kind of hard to judge how much is coming out. And then I leave this run for a bit. This tomato has wood ash and a calcium pill <laughs> in the base. Um, same here. And this one's already been watered in significantly. You can probably tell if I put the water here for a second. That ground's already pretty saturated, so it creates a puddle. What this does is fill in any air pockets that have been created by turning up the earth without compacting the soil. As a lot of people advise stomping on it um, in order to press the roots down in, and I don't, I don't um, advocate that. This is this is my method and it also draws the water down deep into like you want your plants to develop deep roots you don't want them having like shallow surface roots because then they're very susceptible to the um any droughts around our parts droughts are typically around about august and with a watering in system like this, you're going to see that um, you don't have to worry so much about the droughts. When the water has drawn down deeply, every rain has the wicking action happening, where water takes direction of the previous water. So when you've watered deeply, the next rain is going to be able to catch the little capillary action and get deeper in the areas where you've watered deeply. Uh, it's, it's an ion action from what I've been reading, but anyway, we'll call it wicking action. So that's what these two are doing. These are the German striped. And this is a new one for me, black brandy wine. I love brandy wine and I love black tomatoes, so I feel like I can't lose there. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's what's going on in here. A couple of brand new little tomatoes getting settled in. I haven't had tomatoes inside the cold frame ever, so I feel like if there were any like disease buildup issues, they would not be here. So that's why I'm giving this a try this year. We'll see how it goes. And this is just Plexi. Apparently it has a crack in it, but I guess, what can you do? It's just, it was a window for somebody at some point. And I tucked it in between some non-mortared bricks, thinking about changing my approach on, on what, what I use as a cold frame, because it doesn't get a whole lot of light. However, once these get large, it won't really matter that there's not much light in here. They'll be so above it. We'll see how it goes. Alright, well, those are tomatoes, and this is a relatively quick video about planting things in. When I did the bare roots, the bare root plants, I did this almost every day, even if it was raining because a bare root plant is more likely to have pockets of air right against its roots after you plant it. So this is how I got 13 out of 14 of my bare root plants to take, uh, which is an unusual success rate on bare root. Very excited about this. The one that didn't take, I can almost not get to down over the cliff. Like, it was really difficult to get over there, so it's probably not going to be where I try to plant the next, the replacement either. That's, yeah, that's what's going on here. Happy May 14th of 2017. Have a great Sunday.